Are y'all sure y'all ready for DDD? What is going on, y'all? This is David coming at you with another episode of the Lust Day Edition. And this episode is specifically about the American Music Awards, which just came on um, tonight on the 23rd of November. I really enjoyed watching this. There were so many great performances, so much stuff going on. I just wanted to get at y'all with my review of how everything went tonight and how I thought everything uh, went through. Well, the award show opened up with Christina Aguilera, who gave us a great performance of seven of her greatest hits. What I did enjoy the most about this performance was how she was able to change outfits so many times in that in that whole segment and everything. So I thought it was very interesting to see Christina really get out there and do her thing on on this uh, on the opening of the American Music Awards. Um, right after that, shortly after that, uh, we got to see um, Rihanna win the first award of the win the first award of the evening. Um, I, I gave her her props because uh, Jamie Foxx did a good job introducing her. He seemed like he was a little drunk or something like that, but he did a good job presenting. He had to give his promo for his new album and stuff like that. But Jamie um, really did a good job presenting that. And Rihanna, I give her her props for winning that. Uh, she won two awards that evening, I believe. Um, after that, the New Kids on the Block came up there and did their thing. New Kids on the Block performance was... Eh, but I think they just need to chill out because, I mean, they just look real stiff up there and everything like that. But, I mean, if you still got to do it, you know what I'm saying? They got a, a couple cheers and everything like that. But New Kids on the Block, keep doing your thing. If you're going to do it, keep doing it. Um, after that, we got to see um, uh, Paris and T-Pain came and introduced an award. Paris cracked me up so much. How she walked out just cracked Oh my gosh, I was just laughing. It was just so funny to see them both on the stage. Like, T-Pain introducing Paris and letting people know that, you know, Paris is now, you know, officially uh, singled again and stuff like that. And she made front headlines about her being single. I'm like, get some better news, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad for Paris for being, you know, single and on the market again, but hey. But that was so funny seeing her walk out. Then Chris Brown picked up the next award, you know what I'm saying? He did a good, good job. Um, Chris Brown picked up an award. He picked up the Artist of the Year award also at the very end of the night. Um, also, Pink got up there and did a great job. She did uh, one of her performances, um, and it was really great. It wasn't so what. She did another performance um, that was really great. I really enjoyed uh uh, Pink's performance. Um, she she's really really doing really well, and I'm I'm really enjoying her doing her thing. Um, after that, Taylor Swift got up here and did a very emotional. She did a very emotional like uh, rendition of one of her songs, and she she really drew me in. Uh, Taylor Swift really drew me into her whole performance, and I really enjoyed Taylor Swift's whole performance and everything like that. I'm really proud, and I like to see what she's doing. Neo got up there and tore up his performance. I don't care what nobody say. Neo got the moves, man. He was with that microphone. Whatever he did with that little microphone, the little spin up thing, y'all check it out. Hopefully they have stuff on YouTube later on. But I'm like, you know, Neo did a really great performance. I really love him. Every time he get on stage, I love his gentleman, his gentleman like uh, uh, demeanor when he gets up on stage and does his thing. So Neo really got up there and did his thing. Then Kanye got up there. Kanye won two awards, awards that evening. Kanye did a great job um, with his performance also. Kanye also gave his second award to Lil Wayne, um, which I was happy. And he really uh, conducted himself very well at this American Music Award. So, ups to Kanye. Leona Lewis did a great job. Leona Lewis from uh, the UK. Man, her song was good. She sounds like Mariah Carey, but her voice is just very, very angelic. I love Leona Lewis. She did a great job in her singing. 
Um, I give her her props too. I mean, do your thing, Leona. Miley Cyrus really shocked me. Her performance was why it was like wow. It was wild. She really surprised me. It reminded me of somewhat like Hilary Duff when she first did her performance. She was really wild and just all over the place. So Miley, it's her 16. It was her 16th birthday. She was celebrating that at the awards ceremony. But she really shocked me how she got out there and did her thing. Um, after that, Coldplay. Y'all, okay, I'm not a, I'm a Coldplay fan. I listen to some of their music, but I don't even know what that dude was doing. Stuff was coming out of the sky. He was falling on the ground. Couldn't barely hear him on the microphone. So I, I really can't tell you what I thought about Coldplay. After that, we got to see um, uh, Alicia Keys. She won another award. And then after that, Mariah came out there and did her thing. And Mariah... Why did you have Nick come on there and bring you down the stage? I was just like, you got enough going on, Mariah. You did not need to bring Nick up there to. You did not need to bring Nick up there to do anything like that. I really didn't think that was a necessary uh, thing for them for them to do. After that, uh, we got to see uh, Rihanna win another award, and then finally, uh, uh, Kanye uh, Kanye did another thing. Uh, he, he won another award. I'm, I'm reading from a list, you guys. Um, but yeah, he gave the award to uh, Lil Wayne. And then finally, Beyonce finally came out and did her single lady thing. I really enjoyed the beginning. I almost saw Beyonce mess up, you guys. I really don't like to say that, but she almost, she had to bring out Sasha. Because I was like, uh, Beyonce almost messed up at the very uh, beginning of the song. Then she pulled it together and she did the cutest thing at the very end of the, the thing where she pulled her ponytail up. And she did, it was so cute. I loved that performance. I mean, even though it was a little rocky at the beginning, that ponytail thing tripped me out at the end. One of her, her uh, not one of her better performances, but I really enjoyed to see what she was doing. Um, finally, Jonas Brothers did a great job. Pussycat Dog really did a great job also. Rihanna did an okay job. Rehab was okay. She didn't get as many cheers as I thought she would get, but Rihanna uh, won a lot of some uh, two of the awards. So I came came down her. She did whatever she could do. You know what I'm saying? I she's the top. Actually, they said on the American Music Awards that she's the top selling female artist of the decade. Not over Mariah Carey. So Mariah Carey is overall the best selling, number one selling, but Rihanna's actually the number one top selling female artist of the decade. So I give her her props. You know, Rihanna, keep doing your thing, but you'll never be better than me. Okay. And then finally, Chris Brown. Um, Chris Brown won the final award of the thing, and Alicia Keys tore up the very last queen. I think he came out there and rapped with her, and it was a really, really great all in all performance. I enjoyed that rendition of Superwoman. A lady came out and sang opera. I don't know her name, but she did a great job. So I really enjoyed the Academy. Uh, I, I not the Academy, but I were, enjoyed the American Music Awards, and I encourage y'all to just get out there and keep doing your thing and um I just wanted to mention one more thing I recently watched Chris Cracker Chris Cracker had a video which he just recently did that was uh that it was talking about in getting out in the industry and basically doing your uh getting out of the industry and and not looking at artists it was a I don't know what it was about but he was basically talking about getting out and not looking at um artists not to copy artists not to to form yourself after an artist or something like that, just go check it out. Um, tell me what you think about it. I I enjoyed it. I thought it was the most thing. It's the most smart thing that he's ever really said, you know, on the internet. And um, it, it really he kind of contradicted himself, but I really saw where he was coming from when he was talking about how people need to stop trying to be like other artists and get out here and do your own thing, you know what I'm saying, and be your own thing, get out here and do what you like to do, and be who you are, you know what I'm saying, and don't, if you get out here and just, you can do anything, basically, that's what he was basically saying, and I, I really thought that it was a good piece of advice, so go on Chris Cracker, check it out, I rarely ever really say go on and check out any, anybody else's stuff out, but go and check this video out where he's talking about uh, don't be like other artists and stuff like that. I will see y'all next time. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Deluxe Day Edition.